And of course, joining us to break this all down, talk about the breaking news of the day, as well as the fallout after Attorney General Loretta Lynch had an impromptu meeting with former President Bill Clinton, Angela McGlowan, who is a Fox News contributor, and Mark Levine as a radio show host and Democratic member of the Virginia House of Delegates. Thank you both for joining us. Certainly, we have a lot to talk about. <laughs> uh, Mark, I want to start with you. We just heard from J Jennifer Griffin. She was talking about uh, how the Clinton team certainly wanted to talk about something else other than the media meeting that Bill Clinton had with Loretta Lynch and then obviously the three and a half hours of interrogation that the Democratic presumptive nominee had to undergo today. Well, I'm glad it took place. I'm glad we're following it over just like we got Benghazi over with. She testified for 11 hours in Benghazi and what happened? The report came and after $7 million they found nothing. She had three and a half hours the FBI. There's no there there. There's nothing here. There's an interesting article in Politico by a photographer who took a picture of Ronald Spears. It's called, I disclosed more top secret information than Hillary Clinton. What happened was he took a picture of the guy and on his desk was a National Intelligence Daily, which is above but top secret. But do you want secret. that about, said thing. about the and, nominee? And, and, you know, and you know what happened to him? I he released more letter. top secret information than the former Secretary of State? And what happened to this guy is he got a letter from the State Department saying you really shouldn't do that please do better and that was it no criminal investigation well, he got a letter in his file please don't do but that Mark again. is sad that we're even discussing this and she did have a good week from the standpoint that she met with uh, the civil rights organization rainbow push and you had blacks that were divided on Hillary you had some folks that just wanted to stay at home I think she did very well in her speech there but this puts a damper on all of it because oh. folks think they don't trust her. How does she the change the rhetoric? And, 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 and this is fair game, whoever wants to answer this. Yeah. How does she change the narrative? You know, because we, we, <laughs> Leland and I were talking earlier, and, and the, the statement said security review and review. So they're, they're trying to stay on top of the messes. They're trying to be one step ahead. But how do you keep doing that? All the headlines are going to say... By staying thing. on point. She needs to have her own message. When you answer to the press, as she's been having to do and making excuses, when she spoke before Rainbow Push, I saw a humble Hillary Clinton that spoke from the I'm heart. I'm not sure I would have ever predicted you to say Humble that. Hillary Clinton <laughs> that spoke from the heart. It surprised the heck out of me, and I was right there on the front row. So what I'm saying, in essence, is she needs to change the narrative, not the press. I well, think this is the beginning of the end of this. I think everyone realized this wasn't going anywhere. No one expected this. Mark, you, to were, ever... saying, you were saying it was the beginning of the end of the of the election process in the primary back in January and February. Yep. It lasted till April. That's a long end. And she won, as I predicted. Let me let me get to this though. This this point though, you say it's the beginning to the end. They're going to clear this up. Right. A good friend of me just texted me this, shall we say, noteworthy fact. So far this year, Hillary Clinton has had one interview with the FBI. She has had precisely zero press conferences. Well, the reason she's had the interview is because it's finally happening. I mean, they waited. I think they took way too long on this. And point. she's had zero press conferences? Thing. Well, she needs to have some press conferences. Fine. So does that happen you know, now? I think it will. I mean, I think, I, look, it I think she's waiting. She's going to get the clear from the FBI. They're going to say there's nothing there. The, the law requires her to be an intent. And no one thinks Hillary Clinton intended to disclose anything. She made a mistake. Colin Powell made the same mistake. They're not investigating. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm not going to let you talk about the brother like that. No. Your opinion, not your own facts. Colin Powell did not have a private email server in the basement of his Thank house. Thank you, Leland. He had a private email. It he wasn't in the basement of his house. house. Those are but very those different are really, situations. I don't think so. I, I, look, a lot of material is considered classified. None of this has ever been found. Anything that Hillary Clinton read that was, and frankly, I, top government secret officials, here's a dirty little secret, they disclose little classified information. Oh, all stop. The time. Don't, don't do not do that. Don't make excuses. Do not make excuses. She was Secretary of State. Do not make excuses for I'm her. I'm telling you That's that the this, problem with liberals. This is a very common Just occurrence. Just go ahead and tell the truth so we can move on. There's nothing here. There's no there there. And I think that's what we're going to find. Okay, I have one more jump ball because I, and we don't have too much time. Um, after the news that we, we saw this week, Bill Clinton, liability on the campaign trail, yes or no? I think if he wants to be a liability, yes. I think he can be an asset if he wants to be an asset. I think what Bill Clinton may be the most popular politician in America today. Okay. Uh, I think he will get big crowds in support of his wife. Well, he certainly got big crowds in 2008, 2012 <laughs> yeah. as well, helping Barack Obama. <laughs> All right, Angela, Mark, thanks, guys. Thank Pleasure you. as always. Thank you both. Hillary Clinton, obviously.